Do, 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 do. Oh, hey there, YouTubers. I thought I would share with you some of the mean and nasty comments that I've gotten over the last couple of years on my YouTube channel. Seems like there's some people out there that have nothing better to do than to just write nasty things on efforts that you've made. You know, they could have just clicked off or clicked forward or clicked on another video, but nope, they watched the video and they left a nasty message. So it's time to talk about these people. Let's start off with Mr. Barry Keeley. Barry Keeley writes, Three freaking minutes in, and instead of telling me about the heater I wanted to know about, you're still effing with your radio? Don't freaking care. Hey Barry, did you know that you don't have to watch videos? Did you know you can make your own videos? Did you know that you could use commas when you write in your sentences? It's true. You don't have to watch anything if you don't want to. How about that, Barry? Thanks for leaving a comment, though. Okay, let's see. What's next? Chad Butler writes, Are you living in a dorm room? No, it's my office. It also happens to be a guest bedroom. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the comment. I'm glad you put that in there. That really is helpful for everybody. Combat Vet writes, I shook my head through this entire video. Are you Mr. Safety and Mr. Scaredy Cat? Take a risk, dude, and use some intestinal fortitude. Then do all that work on those nights late, late worrying about the silly antenna only to put up one of the worst design wire antennas ever devised. Yeah, I guess safety and climbing on your roof is not an important thing. I guess we should just, uh, get rid of all safety when you're on top of your roof. No one's ever fallen down hurting themselves. No, I'm sure you are a combat vet. And you're the kind of combat vet that I sure wouldn't want to be next to. A dangerous one. Let's go take a look at Combat Vet's YouTube channel. Looks like a typical channel from someone that makes nasty comments. Four videos, hardly any views. Bury the Buffalo. Take a watch of that video. It is riveting, let me tell you. It is a, pic a video of a buffalo. It's right, a buffalo. Oh, let's see here. What have we got? Forget Your Life says... Easy answer. People who drink coffee and burn their tongue are simply caffeine addicts. Yes, because if you drink coffee and it's too hot, you are clearly an addict. That's all it takes. Thanks for the comment, Forget Your Life. Let's see what Mr. Doug Wilson has written. You realize that it's improper and against FCC regulations to car chunk the repeaters as you were doing. You are obligated with your license to ID your station, even if you're trying to see if you're making the repeater. The proper way is to simply say your call sign and see what returns. Thank you, Mr. By the Book. You're exactly what makes ham radio fun. Oh my god. Well, let's see what Mr. Robert Miller writes. That was 14 minutes, 58 seconds that I will never get back. Oh my god, did you really watch this for 1458 and then decide that you shouldn't have watched it? Really? Wow. Okay, Ham and Shortwave Radio writes, The G5 RV is a real sucky compromise antenna. It's popular though because it's cheap and most hams want multi-band antennas that are cheap because they themselves are cheap. Stupid ham people wanting cheap stuff. I have never heard a station with respectable DX performance running a G5 RV. I think maybe I should shoot myself. So let's get this straight. I'm sucky, I'm compromising, I'm cheap, and I'm not respectable. I get it. I'm an awful person. Maybe I'll throw all my stuff into the trash. Thanks for being so perfect, Mr. Hammond Shortwave Radio. Let's see. Sounds of Life says, I take it it never rains, question mark? Or do you only go out when the sun's out, question mark? I guess I'm supposed to take my stuff out in the rain? I'm supposed to operate in the rain? I'm supposed to be not comfortable. Thanks, I think. Um, I think. Jeez. How can you, quote, review a mower with that ugly lawn? Because my lawn, being ugly or not, is all dependent on me unboxing and showing a video of my mower. Yeah, those two are related. Jeff Wimmer writes, Why are you reviewing a radio that's almost two years old already? This radio is a follow-on to the FT-100, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know there was a time limit on reviewing radios that I liked, that I just purchased, that I love. I didn't know there was a time limit. Please send me the details of the time limits for the reviews that I have to follow based on your recommendations. Thank you, Jeff. 
I don't know about all these comments, but I do know one thing. You are all blocked. Boom, bop, a doo, bop, a doo, boop, a boo, boop, bop, a doo, bop, a doo, bop, a boop. You're blocked. You're blocked. You're blocked. <laughs>